it's me, one in a minion here, and today I'm back with another video. And just so you guys know, if the video is a little bit wonky, it's because I have a sore finger. It's pretty swollen. Let me just quickly compare. And I heard it, and I have medicine and stuff, so we're all good. But anyways, I'm going to be making an, somewhat of an explosion, I guess you can call it. But yeah, I guess well, let's just hop right into it. So, the materials and the stuff that you'll be needing is a empty water bottle. It's just, I, have, I was washing it out because I had my flavored water in there. So, you're just going to need a bottle of water. You're going to need some hydrogen peroxide. And you're going to need, let's just bring that over here. You're going to need half of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. My finger's killing me, but let's continue on. You are going to be needing two tablespoons of hot water. This is literally hot. The glass is like so hot, so let's just quickly continue. You are going to be needing two tablespoons of dishwashing soap. I'm using Dawn Escape um, dishwashing soap, and I'm using two tablespoons of that. You are going to be needing a funnel, which is basically optional, so it will just prevent messes and get everything into your bottle of water quicker and, I guess, easier. You are going to be needing some yeast. I have about two teaspoons of yeast in here. Two teaspoons of yeast in here. Look, doesn't yeast look so cool? Well, anyways, last but not least, some paper towels if you make a mess. There's little popsicle sticks to clean or mix, whatever. Something to put your experiment in so that when the foam comes out, it won't go making a big mess. So, yeah, let's just hop right into it. So, I'm going to start off by putting my funnel onto my bottle right along there and we're going to pour our half cup of hydrogen peroxide into our bottle of water and the funnel really helps so that we get everything in there and the measurements don't go really wonka on us <sighs> and yas so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add in your two tablespoons of dishwashing soap into the hydrogen peroxide. Mine is blue, so I don't think I'm gonna be adding any food coloring to that, and then we could successfully remove our funnel. Next thing you're gonna do is, I don't think our stick will be long enough to mix it up, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a little shake in a circle or something. Like so. So now we're going to set that aside and work on the next main ingredient here. So I'm just using basically my measuring cup, which I know I shouldn't be using, but who cares? I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of hot water and my approximately two teaspoons of yeast into that water and we're gonna mix 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 until it's all well combined together and you gotta make sure it's hot water so that all the little particles of yeast will somewhat dissolve and we won't have little particles in our foam and yeah so I'm gonna keep mixing it doesn't smell very nice if you guys have ever smelled yeast it does not smell nice so I'm just gonna keep mixing and I'll come back to you guys when it's fully mixed Alright guys, so I've been mixing for approximately one minute, and I've mixed it to the approximately the best of my abilities. We're just going to throw that right on into our garbage here. And now, for the momento of truth, we're going to put our funnel back onto our bottle, like so. And we're going to pour in the yeast and then quickly remove the funnel. Look so cool. 
And I don't really know how long this will go on for, but it's basically just running and it won't stop. Like, I can just, like, touch it and all. I'm scared. Okay, I touched it. Ah! It will, like, go over the stick. It doesn't really matter to the stick. Like, wow. And it's so coming, guys. This is just amazing. I did this, like, a couple times, and I, like, hadn't got sick of it. So I was like, oh, God, guys, I should make a video. And I was like, kablamo, mind blown. We need this video to happen. Oh, focus, camera, focus, focus. Come on, don't be like that. Oh, gosh. I just got that foam all over my body. And I would actually recommend using food coloring because the soap doesn't really show much color in it. But look at that. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, there we go. And that is just amazing, guys. Like, as you can see, it's still coming. And more and more and more. So, I'll just go quickly over the recipe so that you guys can know, but I'll leave it in the description either way. So, yeah, let's just go over the ingredients and directions. You're going to start off with half a cup of your hydroperous oxide into there with your two tablespoons of soap into your water of water. And then in a separate bowl, you're going to mix in your two tablespoons of boiling hot water with two, approximately two teaspoons of yeast. You're going to mix that well combined so that it's hot water so it will probably dissolve most of the yeast. And then you're going to carefully pour your yeast mixture into your bottle and watch the magic happen. So I don't really know much about the cleaning up process, but I'm glad I did it in here and not like all over my table because that would probably be a nightmare. So let's just try like tipping over this bottle. Oh, it's very dirty. Oh, look, it now, now it decides to come out blue. Thanks. So I'm just going to squeeze. Wow! Oh! That's pretty amazing. Let's just throw out our Garbito and give our hands a rinse because I cannot touch the camera because my phalanges are wet. So that was pretty cool. And I honestly like this. So hope you guys enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget, the more subscribers we get, the more giveaways will happen. And if you guys don't know, I play Animal Jam, which most of you guys probably know. And I'm a Wonder Minion. If you want to send me a buddy request, go straight ahead and I'll definitely accept you guys. Love you all. Bye.